Hey Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna make this boy doll only with newspaper and white glue. So let's get started. Okay, so I've started with this newspaper first and what I'll do is that I'll take a paint brush and I'll roll the newspaper around it and as you can see this is the kind of shape I'm going for. One side will be very narrow and the other side will be broad. So once I get these two now what I'll do is that I'll just repeat the same procedure again and create another one but in a smaller size. Okay, so these two will be the hands and that will of course be the legs. So once that is done, let's start making the body and I'll take newspaper and I'll take some white glue and I'll just stick it over here, folding it into this half shape and once that is done, I'll fold it into another half and this is how I get it. And now what I'll do is that again, I'll just repeat the chopstick procedure and uh, it's just, basically it's how you make sushi and you have to just keep on rolling this around the legs okay so this is what you get right now then again i'll just repeat this one just in the bottom part again Once I'm done with that, I'll take this plastic straw and I'll insert it inside and then I'll take this paintbrush and again some newspaper stripes and make a cylindrical shape. Okay, so once I'm done making that, this is how it looks. I'll just insert it with the plastic straw and then I'll use some glue just to secure it in its place. And once that is done let's start making the head so for that I'm using this thick cardboard and I'll keep on applying the layers all right so this thickness is perfect now what I'll do is that I'll make a hole inside it and then I'll insert it inside and make sure the other part comes out so that you can apply another piece of cylindrical newspaper and it's nice and ready just to move because I'm making a movable and bendable doll over here so that's the thing I'm using now just to make his body nice and you know just those muscles um, I'm just gonna use the brown cardboard and I'll start sticking it around the legs areas and make sure you leave those places where there are joints because you want them to move and if you stick the cardboard it will not be able to move so don't do that and then just keep on applying newspapers Okay, so once that is done, as you can see, this is how he looks right now and he just looks better than before. So I'll just cover the newspaper and then once that is done, I'll stick the newspaper on the head as well and on the sides. So now this is the shape of a cardboard and it's a triangle. I'll just fold it from the middle and stick it to the place of the nose. So now he is quite completed. Let's stick the ears and the hands as well. Alright, so now the painting procedure. So I'll start painting him. And for that I'm using acrylic paints. In the skin tone you can also use fabric paints instead of acrylic paints. And you just have to completely paint his body. And once that is done, this is how he looks. Now again I'll take some newspaper, I'll crush it and then stick it on the back side of the head just to give that nice effect and you know what I mean. And then you have to stick the newspaper again to make the head and the hair. So I'll just paint the hair part with brown acrylic paint and once that is done this is how it looks. Then again I'll start painting the face and these will be the facial expressions so you can paint it any how you want.
and then you can paint the lips as well. So the face is now completed. Now I'll start making the hairs and for that I'm using this dark brown wool and as you can see this is how I make hairs from all of my dolls even if it's female doll or male doll it's very easy now you can just tie the knot in the middle cut the edges off and this is what you'll get of course take a brush and brush the hairs so that it's nicely even and then you can stick on the head and give him a nice haircut Okay, so now it's time to dress him up. So for that I'm using this black fabric and as you can see I've taken some pieces over here. I'll just cut them like this. And then the other one as well. And then I'll cut it from the middle. So these are the shapes I get and I just cut this part off and this is what I get. So now once that is done I'll take my glue and I'll stick the one side of it like this and this will be the sleeves. So you can see the other sides are remaining so that you can fold it up and you can just fold the sleeves into a nice and stylish way. And then of course you can just make him wear on his hands and stick it from one side. Then this will be the back side of the shirt and then this is the front side. So of course I'm making this collar and it is just a little button up open which is and that's what I'm gonna do over here and I'll make this collar as well and stick it like this. So now I'll just stick some gems for the buttons and on the sleeves as well. So once that is done now I'll take another piece of same fabric and it's also in black color. Of course guys you can use any color you want. It's completely your choice how you want your boy doll to be. So don't depend on this but if you want the all black look because I personally love black color. So I decided that I'll give him this black look and of course make him men in black. So that's what I'm doing over here and I'm making the pants as well in this black color and then this is what I get and I'll cut it from both of the sides and then make him wear it. So after I'm done with that I'll of course stick it and I'm making this shirt inside so you can also do that way and then you have to stick the pants on the legs and then this is a glitter foam sheet into black color which I'll be sticking here just to make the belt and the watch wrist watch and once that is done let's start making the shoes so for that I'm taking the black of course glitter foam sheet and some brown cardboard and I'll take the measurement of the leg and then I'll just take these foam sheets and make the shoe. So this is the shoe I get and then of course I'll just give the heel as well. And once that is done I'll make him wear it. So once that is done this is my completed boy doll and as you can see his hands and legs are moving so perfectly and I knew that most of you guys wanted to see this tutorial because you all said that you are not able to find some craft wire or paper clay or hot glue gun so I decided that I'll first make the girl and here she is and you guys just loved her so I decided to make a boy doll because I was getting so many requests to make a boy doll as well in the similar way so i made this so if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till next time bye bye